Virgos. This is going to be for Virgo singles for November 17th through the 24th. Virgo singles. What options do you guys have in love for November 17th through the 24th? Let's see what's going on for my Virgo. Virgos. Ooh, six of cups. I almost feel like there's not a lot of people that come here that are not dealing with anyone whatsoever. Because a lot of the readings, even singles readings, a lot of past energy comes up. So let's see, guys. Ten of Pentacles, building a legacy, having it all, family everything oh leo leo Ooh. sagittarius energy huh huh you've got you got some fire coming towards you for sure You have got some fire coming towards you. This is somebody that knows what it feels like to go through tough situations. And sometimes that's what you need on your side. You know, somebody that knows how to get through the battle. Um, we have an emperor coming through here that... To me, it looks like this person wants to have your back. They're willing to fight for you. They're willing to fight for you. They want to make things right. And I feel like it's two people here. I feel like one of, one of the individuals that is in your energy is very fiery. As a matter of fact, the other one is too. I almost feel like, you know, this is Scorpio. Scorpio has that fiery kind of watery energy as well. Um... But one of the individuals, the the um, fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, is trying to make things right with you. I feel like this is somebody that you have a connection with already, that you've been through things with already. But the other individual is somebody that brings out the best in you, I feel like. They make you feel good. Um, you're more self-aware. You're, you're happy. You're looking towards the sun. And I feel like, you know, unfortunately for some individuals, they're, go they're going to lose out on the opportunity of being with you. That's, that's what I see. Um, because karma is being balanced out here by this water sign energy that's, um, that's present here. I see that Sagittarius is strong here. Um... This could quite possibly lead to marriage here, guys. I feel like this water sign is, is, has marriage on the mind. Like, really, though, with the Justice card and the Four of Wands here. Libra energy present as well. But I don't think that this 
um, the person that you've already been involved with, they're not going to, this is not going to go over well with them once you actually get into a committed relationship. And I feel this leading towards something significant here with this water sign energy. Yes, yes, indeed. You guys are going to be in a little pickle because now we have the lovers coming up, okay? I feel like you're going to have, you're going to be put in, in a position where you're going to have to make a choice. You're going to have to decide between what is coming across strongly to me as somebody that you felt like was the love of your life that hurt you, that brought you to your knees. and a new person. That's what I see here. You had a very strong, solid commitment with, with this, this emperor. That for some reason fell apart. But now this emperor is going to come back and pick up the pieces. I don't know if it's too late. Only you know that. But you've got this water sign, Scorpio um, energy here. Leo. That is really is really going to come in and change things up for you. But I feel like no matter which way you go, which no, who you choose, it's going to be just. Because thus far, you have done the work. You have done everything that you have needed to do thus far. So I don't feel like any decision you make will be a bad decision, okay? All right, guys. That's, that's beautiful for you Virgo <laughs> yeah okay that's absolutely beautiful so um, you have Gemini here as well if I didn't say that already um, and those are your options for the week of the 17th through the 24th I will speak to you again soon mm -hmm.